What's up, movie lovers? We're back. Real Pastors YouTube channel. Hope everybody had a great Christmas, great New Year's. First video of 2022. Efren, how are you? Mm -hmm. Doing great. Glad to be in the new 2022 and yeah. excited for a new year. It's about time. And this is our first video of the year, so even more exciting. Yes. Yes. We made it. We made it, so. we made it another year. I'm so proud of us. We are here. Uh, I think this is, uh, if we're going, this is, this, we'll call this season three of Real Pastors. So welcome there to we season go. three, folks. <laughs> and uh, we're going to kick off the year with some movie news. Some kind of uh, not great news. Depends on who you're asking. Mm -hmm. uh, some rumors, some innuendo. And uh, yeah, so movie news. Efren, what yeah. are we talking about today? Yeah, so first up, we've got all these flash rumors that have been coming out um, over the weekend. And even an update that just came out to these rumors. So essentially, Gary, these rumors are, and I know this will not make you happy, sir, no. is that the Flash, like it's been known that the new Flash movie starring Ezra Miller is going to be a Flashpoint movie. And we already know Michael Keaton will be in it. Yes, Ben Affleck will be in it. And there's a bunch of stuff going on. Um, so we know that's coming. Well, the rumors have been now coming out is that what the Flash, what Flashpoint will do is that it will effectively erase the DCEU as we know it, the Snyderverse, all that stuff, everything that has come before it will no longer uh, be of any value to anyone. And um, and that's kind of been the rumors. And, um, of course, there's a lot of people who restore the Snyderverse and all that. There's plenty of fans who are just like, no, this is stupid. Um, you just had this great success through Zack Snyder's Justice League um, that people loved. And that people are, again, that's why Restore the Snyderverse started. People want. And it's just like, why in the world would you want to do that? Um but what I'll say to you, Gary, here's the thing. When you do Flashpoint, yes, that was a fear that, and that was actually, this was actually talked about when Flashpoint was first announced that, well, it's just going to completely reboot the whole DCEU. We'll forget about all that and we'll be able to move forward. And um, so this was actually already talked about, but it was brought up again, like, hey, this is going to happen. And it came from like uh, a couple sources, like nothing, it wasn't like the Hollywood Reporter or anybody like legit, if you will, it's like comicbook.com, things like that, um, that had said this. And then, um, so all that stuff has come out. And then now, uh, this came out today. Again, comicbook.com, so it's still a little bit of a rumor site. But sometimes, this website gets things right. So it's kind of like, you know, we'll see. Um, but here's what's come out here. And it says, you know, as you see the top there, Ezra Miller debunks the erasure, erasure, whatever, rumor. Erasure. Yeah, I don't know. I can't read. Um, <laughs> but he says, like, this isn't going to happen. Like, so apparently this came out over the weekend. Ezra Miller comes out and says no. And then if we look right here, um, this is again, a screenshot was shared on Reddit, which again, it's, it's Reddit. So whatever it says, no power or force in any known megaverse would or could ever erase Zack Snyder's mighty works. And this is according to Miller. You can take that quote. You can take that to the bank, to the press, to the schools, the military, or any other pillar of capitalism. I'm forgetting because that's the thing where you try to think of a group of things. You always forget one of them. Uh, and here's like the little screenshot here, you know, with Ezra, you know, blah, blah. Pretty much saying the same exact thing. Um, and again, it started circulating online and was saying like, hey, Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, Justice League, everything was going to be gone. Um, and this kind of popped up because of the idea that like um, with Michael Keaton coming in and they could go that direction, do some things. And everyone's just like, so much can change. Um, but none of this has actually been verified. This is the first time we've heard something like this. That Zach Miller's like, nah, like that ain't happening. Um, so a lot could happen here, Gary. I just threw a lot of info. What do you think, sir? Well, when I first heard it, I was a little, obviously I was like, no, because I, I love those movies. Um, mm -hmm. Everybody who watches regularly knows that. And I love Henry Cavill and Ben Affleck as uh, Batman and Henry Cavill as Superman. Um, but best I know Superman. For, I, do I, Call, I said best Superman. Calling it. Yep, there Henry is. Henry Cavill. And, uh, and, you know, we saw the reports that he doesn't want, you know, he's not returning. And we know the mm -hmm. Ben Affleck stuff. So I knew there had to be some type of to do with them too. But then I'm also like, if you erase it all, how do you do – Aquaman, Wonder mm -hmm. Woman, because all that stuff is canon as well. So I don't, it didn't make sense to me a full reboot mm -hmm. um, or a full erase or whatever you call it because they're still there. I do think they'll do something with uh, Ben Affleck, Superman, Henry Cavill's. Uh, um, ben Affleck's Batman, you mean? Yes. Ben Affleck's Henry Cavill, Batman, Superman. That's why you, that's why you yeah, paused. Yeah, I can't, I can't talk today <laughs> um, because of all those rumors going on. Um, 
but here's the thing you can't erase it because it does still exist you may erase mm -hmm. it from canon they're not going to take the movies away they're not going to take these posters off my wall or off my shelf or anything like that so that is good but what it means is how they're going to shift and do things differently um but uh Mm -hmm. I do think there's going to be quite a bit to talk about after this movie, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think we will. And it's going to be, again, none of this stuff has been like, this hasn't come from Warner Brothers. This hasn't come from the director. This quote from Ezra Miller is the closest thing we've done. But we, of course, we already know Ezra Miller, he was a part of Snyderverse stuff, and he loved what that was doing. So I could, I can't see him being a part of a movie that's going to say the heck with all that um, and him be okay with it. So that's why to me, it also like it didn't make a whole lot of sense. What does make sense to me though, is Flashpoint will be how they set up the new direction of the DCEU. Um, kind of like what you were saying. Like I can see them like, okay, that kind of happened. We will kind of want to pivot and go this direction. And this is what we're going to do. Like all that can still happen, but then maybe somehow like obviously Ezra Miller's Flash, he'll still know of all those things. He'll still know what happened. Um, so there's still plenty that they can do, or they can just do the typical lazy thing that they do in comic books and comic book movies. It's the multiverse. Mm -hmm. There you go. You're done, right? Like, I mean, it, you don't have to worry about it. And so um, I don't think it'll be a complete erasing of the Snyderverse. I just think it'll be a pivot. And that's all we'll do. And again, those are kind of the rumors before is like, this is just going to pivot to a different direction so we can do what we want. But it's still going to be weird because you're still going to have Shazam that comes after this. Oh, that right. came that came before it. You yeah. still have Aquaman two, uh, which is coming out th you know later this year as well. Um, which Aquaman one exists in this universe. And remember, they had a little bit of trouble with this because in Aquaman one, they said some things, pretending Justice League didn't exist, and it was like, well, wait a second, that doesn't make sense. So they're gonna have some issues trying to pretend it didn't happen. So they're gonna have to find a way to make it all fit and to make sense moving forward. Because these, like you said. Some of these movies exist beforehand and you're still making Wonder Woman 3. You're making Aquaman 2. You're making Shazam 2. Yeah. You're making, you know, like you're making all these movies that already exist in that version. So they're going to have to find a way to make it work. And the difference there is Zachary Levi, Gal Gadot, Jason Momoa, they're not going anywhere. Yeah. You know, uh, I like how you put it. A new direction, a pivot, not any race. That's mm -hmm. how it makes sense to me. Um, and I know DC, I was watching a video last night. Somebody was talking about how DC's done this a lot with their comics. Yeah. Um, erase, shift, and all that. So uh, why should this be any different? Um, but I think, like I said, we've said it a hundred times, tell a good story, take it in a new direction, best way you can, but don't do it in the fact of, don't don't treat us like we're dumb. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I know that existed. I know that happened. If I'm in the theater and you're trying to tell me it didn't, Mm -hmm. What happens with my person? I'm out of the movie, and I'm thinking, well, yeah. no, that's that, you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, new direction, pivot, definitely, but yeah. uh, not new race. And I don't know why they would do that after the success of the Snyder mm -hmm. Cut, um, because people. I mean, it was on everybody's top movie of the year. It was on ours. It was it was very successful. Mm -hmm. um, it's sitting on the shelf right over there. Um, yeah, so sitting on a lot of people's I, shelves. <laughs> Yeah, and why? Would, so why would you then turn around and, and say, okay, no, that's all gone? No, I, that wouldn't be smart at all. No, wouldn't be smart. I think you know I, we make fun of Warner Brothers for doing a lot of stupid things, especially when it comes to the to DC. Um, but I don't think they're this dumb. I don't know. Maybe they are. Maybe they'll prove us wrong. But I don't think they're that dumb. Um, so. If it was, if they were, let's just say hypothetically, they made that decision. I don't think it wouldn't hurt the past because you can't affect those movies. We'll still have them. We'll still mm -hmm. be, but it will affect the future for sure. Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Yes. And, and how can we then take them seriously? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and they're going to shoot themselves in the foot. And I don't think, you know, again, especially with um, Zack Snyder's Justice League and the success of that, there's just no way they can just ignore it. Um, yeah. They can say, hey, we gave you this fans. That will be the end. We're going a new direction. We'll pivot. But to say the heck with all that is not canon, that'll make a lot of fans mad. And like you said, it'll affect the future. Mm -hmm. But if you just say, this is our pivot. This is where we're going. We can still be on board as long as you, like you said, tell a good story, make it make sense. Um, so Warner Brothers, there you go. That's what you need to focus on. That's our thoughts. Yeah. Do it. So so that's uh, that's it on the Flash one. And then um, the next bit of information, which causes a little bit of concern, yeah. is uh, yeah. is the announcement of Morbius uh, getting delayed. Now, Morbius, of course, has been delayed because of COVID. 
And because in a, like a lot of movies, all right, it was in that in that group of movies that had to be delayed, and uh, it was going to have an October release, and then they said no, never mind. They removed it, which was smart. There was a lot in October. I don't know if Morbius would have made money. I mean, they already had Venom two in October and uh, Halloween Kills, and I can't remember what the other big movie was in October. Uh, wasn't it No Time to Die? I think that came yeah, out in that October. Was October. Yeah. So like, it was smart of them to move out out of October. Like, I don't blame them for that. Um, but then they moved into January. Uh, which I remember I told you, Gary, I said, hey, uh, J- don't be afraid of the January day because normally January movies are the crapshoot movies that go to die, yeah. go to January release. And there's normally never nothing to watch there. I was like, but don't be afraid. Remember, this isn't supposed to be that. Um, and now they have moved out. They were going to come out January 28th. Now they have moved to April 1st of 2022 from Morbius. What are your thoughts on this, good sir? Uh, very concerning. Um mm-hmm. Uh, I want to try to be optimistic and maybe they think this is, this is a great movie they have on their hands, which I hope they do. Cause I, I think it looks great. The trailer looks good. And they think let's move it out of January just because this is too good to be in January. Mm-hmm. Um, but realistically, I think this is, you know, they're just pandemic stuff or whatever, just pushing it back. Um, it's, it's a huge bummer because one, I w- want to see this movie, but two, this is one that's been pushed back. What's the second or third time now? Like you said. Uh, third time. Yeah. Yeah. Third time. And you keep doing that no matter what character people are going to lose interest. And mm-hmm. it does that at April because they don't want to mess with the Batman in March, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, but this, this concerns me and I am, uh, I'm hoping other movies don't follow suit. And right. You know, and then next thing you know, I think the other movie people are watching for is the next Scream movie was also supposed to be in January. Well, that could push back, you know, yep. and then next thing you know, Top Gun Mavericks pu- pushed back to July 2032. And then, yep. you know, and then and then and then it's just a and if they move the Batman, just I mean, I will have a complete breakdown, yeah. um, which I, you know, so that's yeah. me being pessimistic, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I think. I don't think I'm really as much concerned as I am just kind of annoyed by it. Um, because for me, it's like, you know, it has been delayed. Again, I understood the first time COVID. I understood, you know, the second time they tried to release it. I think they tried to release it in August, um, I think is what it was of last year. But again, they still weren't feeling confident. So they said, well, October, which to me, I'm like, well, with this character, it makes sense. Um, and I, of course, I understand October. But at this point, it's like, I, I'm just afraid for this movie. I guess here's my main concern that this movie will end up being like Black Widow, where it just got delayed, 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 and then people just like, ah, the heck with it, man. Like, forget it. It's so far removed from everything going on. Like, just forget it. Um, And and that's what I'm afraid of for Sony, because here's the thing. Sony has had two big hits, or three big hits recently, with Ghostbusters Afterlife, Venom 2, and obviously Spider-Man No Way Home. Like, this is, to me, I'm like, just release it in January. Just get it done. You've been announcing it. Just release it. And, and you've made mention in the trailer up for this movie of Venom. And so like, and you have, you know, in the trailer of this movie, Michael Keaton, who was, you know, who, who was the vulture in Spider-Man Homecoming. And in this trailer, you had the Spider-Man picture behind him. So you're already c- connected to it. Like, just go ahead and ride the wave, man. Yep. Ride the wave. Yeah, people are probably still seeing Spider-Man No Way Home in January because at this point, there's going to be nothing else to watch, I guess, you know, except for Scream. But movies like that, you're not getting a, I mean, you'll get people out for it, but you're not going to get a ton of people, no. right? You don't have a lot to compete with. So just release it. Just go ahead and release it. I mean, most theaters across the nation, for the exception of like California, um, maybe like uh, what is the state of Washington and New York. Other than that, pretty much every state is just like theaters are wide open and people are just going to move. I mean, look at Spider-Man No Way Home. Look what it's doing. You know, right now it's, it's cracked the top 10 for the top 10 movies domestically all time. It could just yeah. kicked Incredibles 2 out. Like people in the United States are going to movies. Like if yeah. you have a good movie to watch, just release it. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to see it get the Black Widow treatment where no one cares anymore. Yeah. And to your point, I think what you said was key. All those movies you just talked about, this trailer played before every single one of those movies. Mm-hmm. All those people that went and saw Spider-Man No Way Home, they saw this trailer. So, like I said, ride the wave. Don't put, you know, why not just keep it where it is and, and let the chips fall where they may while mm-hmm. it's on people's mind, you know? Yeah. Or think, you know, maybe the casual moviegoers think, you know what? No Way Home was so good. Maybe I want to stay in this universe and go see what else they're doing. You yeah. Know? April, you know what I mean? I mean. Yeah. I mean, you already I don't got get it. 
I, I think, uh, um, I, 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 yeah, I, I, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Maybe it's, uh, I don't know, maybe it's a, a California thing in the sense that, like, you know, California is looking to shut down and stuff again. You know, they're having a bunch of stuff going on. I was talking to my sister the other day about it. Um, you know, so maybe they're just like, oh, we need to do this. But I'm like, dude, you need to look outside California, man. The rest of the country, like, mm-hmm. We're going to movies, man. Like no one, no one cares. Yeah. Um, and that's the only thing I can think of is maybe they're just afraid of of what this, you know, the COVIDs are doing. But I'm just like, dude, people are, you know, people who are just wearing masks. And people are getting vaccinated. Like no one cares. Just, just release the thing. Release it. Let the chips fall where they may. I mean, like I said, those other movies I mentioned, they made money. Morbius will too. And like, I mean, you were right. They played before it. Ride the wave, man. Yeah. This whole being delayed thing just needs to. Again, it would be different if they were if this was already slated for March when the Batman was coming out, and they're like, "We need to move it out of March." Okay, I get that. That makes sense. But you were in January. The only thing you really had to compete with is Scream, and even then, because Scream will be rated R, there's gonna be a lot of people who can't see that movie. Oh, so let's go see the PG-13 Morbius. Yeah. Come on, (laughs) like this movie would make money, especially unless the only thing that I'm afraid, unless they're not that confident in it. See, that's, yeah. that's that's the thing. If they're not confident in it, then still release it in January because no one really wants it. Confident, you know where it is. I mean, yeah, yeah. It makes, none of it makes sense. And <laughs> yeah, none of it makes sense. What I'm looking for is Scream. Shout out to my hometown where it was filmed, Wilmington. But which all of a sudden they're making all the horror movies in Wilmington. Yeah, I'm about to say <laughs> horror capital right there. <laughs> if they move that, that is where – that's what I'm paying attention to now if mm-hmm. that's, that moves now. If that moves – then buckle up folks because it's going to be a snowball effect which yeah i really hope not yep we all really hope not i mean just like we saw with again spider-man no way home people want fun great fun at the movie that they can escape good escapism like now's not the time to be doing this i mean you just have this huge you, you had a good ending to 2021 don't start off 2022 like this people don't do it don't do it yeah yeah so I'm in a bad yeah. mood today. I don't know. I didn't realize <laughs> until we started the show. I was just in a. I'm a bummer today. Sorry, folks. Yeah, when you have news like that, that I'm doesn't really excited. excite you. I'm old man grumpy. Gary. It happens. Ugh. So, anyway. And on that note, subscribe to the grumpy old yeah, man. Please <laughs> we'll be happy again. Yeah, something. if you haven't yet, and we will continue to making these awesome videos through 2022. We have We're continued here. great ideas. We're excited for this new year, and uh, make sure out. you hit that like button. My posters look, are back. Gary's got, and he's got a new studio set up I do. in his new house. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. I'm very excited. So anyway, so, peace out. See you, everybody.